I do strive to make like every album that I do next better than the last one. Hey, what's up? It's Metro Boomin' and you watching Billboard News. I'm untouchable. I get to represent money, more What's up? It's Tetris with Billboard News, chilling with Metro Boomin. How you What's doing, up? man? Bless. How you doing? Nice to have you, dude. Right, well, we on the set of your Billboard cover shoot. Was this the dream? You feeling good about it? Yeah, it's a blessing, man. It's, it feels great to be here. It's still a little surreal. And I mean, at our Power Players event, we gave you a plaque. Three number one albums on the Billboard 200. So let's talk about that success. What are you doing that's so consistent you keep topping our charts? It's really, I feel like it's caring. It's just like caring enough to take the time where it's not difficult for me to just take a long time if I need to, to work on something. And when you put like that much love and effort into each project, like, could you pick a favorite? I like your three number ones, like who, which one is your baby? They all my babies, that's why I can't pick one. Like, I do strive to make like every album that I do next better than the last one. And then when you got so many hits, like whether they're your hits, whether they're other people hits you produced on, you know, congratulations, Tuesday, Jumpman. Like, what do you, what you feel is the signature Metro Boomin song? Like, what is the fans waiting on? What is the one you close the set with every time you do it? I used to switch it up, depending on where I'm performing at. Like, you know, just the crowd, the demographic, the type of show. But, um. If it's Atlanta, it's probably a Migos straight. You know, if it's the A, it's gonna be something different than when I'm in Switzerland or Norway, or, you know, even Toronto. And I love that you got your, so many catchphrases too. I feel yeah. like there's so many ways you know when a Metro track is coming on. Yeah, man, it just kind of happened over time. Like, you know, sometimes people say certain lines, mention me in the track, and I don't ever force it, but if it sounds to me like, oh, that's something that I could probably just throw on the beats, really just do it without thinking. And then also, of course, we talk in music, but you dabbled in movies a little bit. Man, how did it feel to see yourself like in the animated form like that? Man, God, man, like I was just so thrilled to get the call to work on a soundtrack. At first it was just the opportunity to work on it. Then that turned into executive producing. That just turned into, hey, you want to come read a couple lines for the next screening? Wow. Like, we had some ideas, everybody laughed, and it just turned into, I don't know, even after that, I didn't look at it in my head like, oh, it's going to be in there, you know? But and then boom. <laughs> yeah, then I started seeing like previews and animation of how my Spider-Man was going to look. And wow. I was like, hold on, this might be real. That's so dope. And then the first time I saw it, I was just like, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then back to music, I read something that I thought was kind of crazy. So you was working on three new future tracks and then like a storm happened. Like what happened with that? Oh, that was a couple nights ago. It's actually, they weren't even tracks yet, but they were beats. Cause I'm actually, I'm gonna go record with him today. They were beats that I was going to make, that I was making for the next time I seen them. And it was going crazy, boom, boom, boom. And uh, I just came from Atlanta and there was a storm. One of my beat machines that I use, it's not like a computer, it's like, it's old school. So it's like, plug the, the power goes off and you haven't saved it, just that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And when you lose it, do you be like, I'm gonna go back and try to recreate that idea and start at the same place where you like bump and I'm just gonna do something completely different? It depends. Like sometimes if I'm so far into something and that happens, then I'll just be like, all right, I just gotta do something new. Cause I'm not even finna. You know, it's and that usually be a blessing in disguise. Usually I didn't learn because the next thing be like, oh man, like I wouldn't have had this if I didn't lose this. There you, you know go, what I'm saying? there you go, but, that's the way to look at it. And what can we expect next from you? Like any new projects you working on or anybody else? I know JID, I've heard some stuff about. Man, we got me and Pluto album ASAP. Yeah, me and JID, we've been working on that too as well. You know, I'm gonna have that coming sometime after that. Um, I'm really excited about that one. Well, we can't wait, man. Thank yeah. you for hanging out with Billboard. Nah, for sure. Thanks for having me. For sure.